Hello there. <laughs> Welcome back to a podcast. Welcome back to Everything Talks with your host, Penny. Hi. Uh, first of all, before I get into the podcast and what we're going to talk about today, um, I just really wanted to inform those who don't know, who are listening on my podcast or who are watching on my YouTube channel. Um, if you're watching from YouTube, you can also just go and listen to a podcast on Spotify or on Anchor, because um, there are some topics that before I decided on filming them, like having a visual on YouTube, I used to do podcasts that, you know, don't have the visuals. So if you want to go check like listen to that you can definitely go there and if you are listening on my spotify or on my anchor um definitely go and check out the video on my youtube channel i'll link it there i'll link it definitely at on the description box below but yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> um today i feel cute i look cute i tried a little bit i don't know if you guys can tell uh if you get you out know, you know, you know, if you're watching, you know, but a little bit of a side note though, um, I wanted to apologize for the ringing noise. If there is a ringing noise on this podcast, like the one on the other podcast, if you haven't listened to the other podcast on change, please definitely go and check that out. Um, so yeah, so today we are going to talk about being different or standing out of the crowd, right? And this is something that I really um felt like i felt it so deeply <laughs> cuz 100% of the times i am always going to be different from everyone else and that means that everyone else is different from me right so in all sense everyone is different so what is being different what does it mean to be different what does it mean to stand out of the crowd you know being that gold speck among the dust you guys feel me so what it means according to me is that you just go by your own rules you follow your own principles you have a set of rules that guide you things that others aren't okay with or others don't follow that or they don't have that you know or they could have it but they apply it very differently so that is what it means According to me, then again, according to me, that is what it means to be standing out of the crowd, you know, being different. Now that you know what it means to be different or what it means to stand out of the crowd, oh, you have to now know how are you different? How are you standing out? And if you don't know, I feel like it's that time where you have to create time for yourself to kind of like, you know, study yourself does that make sense make time for you to study you i don't know if you guys are understanding what i'm putting out there but standing out is not following what other people are doing not going by the norms of society you know it's, it doesn't have to be exactly what the rules of society you can you can definitely apply the rules of society but do them differently do you guys get me like i can decide to help someone but i'm helping them in my own way you know helping someone according to society is giving them food um a shelter or clothing so that's it but i could decide if for example if i was like old much more older and i had my own job and you know, had money, I could decide to actually take this person in, get them a job and like teach them. That's my way of doing what society wants, but in a different way. I could decide to nurture this boy's talent, you know, in a whole different way. If he he's more passionate about football than he's about school, then I'll invest more on his skills because he'll show more passion to that. So I am following society rules but i'm doing them differently i'm applying what they want but in a different manner 
then again if you know me you know that i really don't go by society i don't follow the rules of society i don't like to go by the flow of people i don't like to follow the crowd that's the word i'm looking for i don't like to follow the crowd so am i different yes i consider myself different so what does it mean to me to be different it means that i do things that i like it means that even though i'm doing things that i like things that are me things that a person can look at me and say damn that girl is different because she does things differently from what we all do you know 100% of the times it's for example now i have my examinations coming up right and you'd expect that i'm waking up at like well i do wake up early in the morning to study and like not be on social media or not be uploading videos for example but i do that but if it was someone else they'll be fully focused on their education and their studies and like just that they're studying 24/7 but that's not me if you because i know where I reach my limit. I could study for a whole hour and that's it for the day. If I'm being honestly honest. And in that study of that one hour, I've gained so much that I could have gained in like four or six hours of studying the whole day. Because I am different. You know? I don't know if you guys are, put, are picking up what I'm dropping. Are you guys picking up what I'm dropping? <laughs> but yeah, that that's that's it for me. So how are you different? You have to know that. You have to look deep inside you to know how you're different. Um, if you uh, follow me on my YouTube channel, I recently um, did a video on my lock, on my locks. Jenny, if you don't know, I have locks. I just started them. They're five months old. They're still babies. That's what they look. How they look. <laughs> but don't, ooh, don't, don't, don't judge me on that. Okay, but. I was talking about that and I talked about how my logs help me to grow spiritually. Like they are helping me in things that if I explain to someone they would feel like that's stupid. Logs can't do that. Hair does not help you do that. But personally, a lot of people okay, let me use this as an example. A lot of people tell me, Vito, why don't you just have like extensions on your locks or just just have braids on your locks? Yeah, that's the word. And I'm like, Yeah, I want to do that, but I don't feel like doing that. I really do want to do that. If I'm being honest, honest, I do want to do that. But I don't feel like I need to do that because everyone wants me to do it. That's more reason why I don't want to do it because everyone wants me to. But I choose what I want. Like I learned to live. I learned that I don't have to always do what people want for my happiness. I can do what I want and it still can imp- impact happiness on other people. So, does being different have negative and positive impacts? Yes, it does. 100%, 100% it does. And this is with no facts, no nothing. It does. It's like simple logic. Like, you're different. That's already a positive and negative on its own. You feel me? So, Like I said, my locks help me spiritually and I've been growing and tapping into this whole different person that I am. I've been learning to control myself more, be more patient, less like doing things on intuition. And, you know, like I, it helps me with things that I really don't have at the moment, but I'm working towards like patience, you know, learning to control buying things on intuition. Like that's what my locks are doing for me. Okay. So that's a big change on my side. Quick side note though, I remember. I just thought about something. Can I think I'm going to make this a season. Uh, this is a series, right, on the whole change. I did a whole episode on change. And I think I'm going to make this a second episode because it still revolves around change, right? So yeah, that's just something I just thought about. Yeah, I'm on this spiritual journey and I'm really loving it. And it's made me realize that I am more different from what other people would want me to be, how other people would want me to be. I've been different since I was a kid. I'm different now. You know, and I sat back down when I was looking into myself and doing these meditations and all of these different things. And I looked at myself and I was like, I am different because I chose to start a different journey. And this journey has become something so big and massive to me at a whole other different level 
so i noticed i i don't know how to say it like i was able to identify what makes me stand out of the crowd so that's the second thing is that you have to identify what makes you stand out out of the crowd what makes you different i feel so alive i don't know i don't know if it's the coffee i had but i'm feeling so much more alive recently and i've been learning to live more and not just survive you know yeah you identify what it means to you to be different to stand out of the crowd how are you different you know how are you different how are you standing out of the crowd you've identified that that's the second thing the third thing is what is it that makes you different what is it that makes you stand out of the crowd so i'm just going to use me as an as an example because at this point i don't have anyone to use an example but how i consider myself different like i said i don't go by society's norms i don't follow what society wants from me i do that yes at occasions at things that actually make sense because if you know society at large you know that they have rules from the past they have so many archaic rules that you can sit down and look at them and you're like yeah okay this does not make sense you know like i have rules that when society brings out out to them like yes this is facts this should be done this i i totally consent on but that doesn't mean that it doesn't have negative sides like i said there's always a positive and a negative thing to a thing it's just something that it is so in this whole you now know like you've not identified how you are different right what is it that makes you different what makes me different is that i have a set of rules and principles that guide me i've put them there for me and i want to live up to what i dream of becoming of showing up as my higher self you know like i don't know how to put it down for you guys to understand but it's doing things according to your rules but then again they have to be good things i do not support negativity i do not like negative energy so i tend to focus on the positive things in my life which is something such a big flex right now cuz if you knew me 10 Um like if you knew me a couple of years back you'd know that I was a negative I was bro I was the biggest pessimist ever like you could tell me something positive and I'd be like yeah but this could happen like I would always be pointing out to the negative side but then I sat down with myself I called myself in a meeting I love saying that <laughs> I called myself in a meeting and then I looked at myself and I was like why am I so negative why do i always focus on the negative things you feel me like why is it that you're negative richa why is it that you're negative and i focused on myself and i started to rethink things through like someone could tell me something negative and i would be like i don't support it don't support it just bring out something positive and i'd immediately like just say something positive and it became something that i got used to and i practiced it on a daily on a daily on a daily looking at myself in the mirror and telling myself i'm beautiful looking out to my surroundings and said that wow this is amazing i love the sky i love the trees i love the buildings like literally if there were hidden cameras the first thing you guys would see that i do every morning after i wake up after obviously that checking out my phone is i go on the balcony and i just stare out and i'm like good morning mother nature how are you how have you been through the night like that's literally what i do that is what makes me different is that i'm trying to tap out of my old skin and breathe this new person that i really have dreamed of becoming and every single time i show up as this new person it gets better and better and i can see the changes in myself i literally can look at myself in the mirror now and i'm i'm like girl yes this is who i am like then again if you watch my youtube videos you definitely notice that i wore headbands and like bandanas to like cover up my hair and my locks cuz to me they looked ugly but now i look at them and they're like yeah they're short but 
I'm learning patience. I'm learning that everything takes time. I'm learning that nothing comes immediately when you want it to. See? And that's all because of my locks. That's all on the locks thing. So what makes me different is that I'm focusing more on positivity. So you should ask yourself what makes you different. What is it that you do that other people find it weird or peculiar or admire it? You know, because not everything is bad. Really, I've learned to see things from a different view. And that, I feel, is that what makes me different. So find out what makes you different. What makes you stand out from the crowd? Because the fourth point is how to cope with standing out of the crowd. How to cope with being different. So 100% of the time is you will always get judged. People will always be pointing fingers. People will call you out. People will bring you down. People will break you. How do you cope with you being different? How I cope with it is I do not care what people say. <laughs> I don't. I honestly, if I'm being really honest, I do not care what people say about me. Okay? The same way is I don't care what someone would say about someone else. Because I've never interacted with this someone. You know? I've never interacted with this other person. So I, how am I sure that what you're telling me is true about this other person? I feel like if people live with that mentality, like, women, oh my god. <laughs> like, let me just put this out there. One thing about women is they will tell you facts about someone else that are so bad, so bad. And I've, I've done this before, okay? And I'm sorry to that person. I will not say it to their face, obviously, but they did me dirty. But at the end of the day, I moved on and we're friends right now. So, like, honestly, women will tell you, like, this person is so bad. She does this, this, and this. And she's A, B, C, D, and la, 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 and la, la. I don't trust her. I don't be friends. I don't even talk to her. People would do that to you. I never told nobody to not talk to her. I just said that this person did this, this, this to me. You know, playing the victim card. I'm done with playing the victim card, bro. I'm not doing that shit anymore. But, yeah. And the person who's being told all this is like, yeah, mm, really? And they look so nice. They don't look like really that. Like, <laughs> personally, I, I'm not, I'm a person at this point where I am right now, is that I'm this person that you can tell me all the negative things about someone else, but I will ask you, what about the good things? I'm sure they were never really bad all through you. There's something that had to happen in between this little space of time that you're not telling me that made this person look bad in your eyes. Did they steal your boyfriend? Did they steal your girlfriend? <laughs> Mike just spoiled. I'm sorry. <laughs> but did you see your person? What is it that makes you hate this person so much that you'll tell me only the negative things? What about the positive things? What about the positive things that this person did to you? Why are you not telling me about that? So if I feel some like if I look at someone else and I feel like the energy is so right, trust me, I will go and talk to them. I will not care what what you said. And it's not like I'm breaking girl code or anything. I I am a big, big upholder of of girl code, bro. I, I do that a lot. I don't care. Girl code, bro code, I am bet. I will step back on a girl that I like for you. That's that's just me. That's just how I am. I know not people many people want to do that for you, but I do that for you. I'm just saying how do you cope with People pointing fingers at you. People saying crappy things about you. Lying on your name. We talked about this in my last podcast about change. And I talked about the same thing. Is You have to be someone really important and really close to me. Someone that we are like this. For anything that you say to matter to me. I would have to respect you. I would have to love you and care for you. And really be close to you like that. You know, that I can tell you my problems, bro. For me, closeness to humanity is not a must, but it's something I value. Okay? I don't trust people. I have that. Okay? But for that little circle of people that I have that I trust, they have never broken that trust. It's only me when I'm trying to put or bring someone into that circle that they always, you know, so like I said, 
how to cope with it, how to cope with being different, how to cope with standing out of the crowd, and what people will say behind your back, what people will say in front of you, is to not care. Don't care about what other people say. And with that mentality, trust me, I have survived a lot of things. I have, I used to be like walking down the street and I'm like, maybe I'm wearing different colored socks. And I'll be like, oh my God, people are talking about the socks. Literally, you can see a, a girl or a boy just pointing out to your socks and laughing at your face. And I'll be like so nervous. And I'll go back to the house and just like lock myself in my room. And I'm like, I'm never going out again. Never going out again. But right now, I'm like, yo, I'm walking with different crocs i do not care okay because i'm at that point where i'm spiritually free like i only take in positive things so you can talk negative things about you can tell me my legs are bent you can tell me that i don't have hips i don't have an ass but i don't care i don't care that's how i cope and when you live with the whole mindset of not caring about what people say Trust me, nothing will ever bother you. That's how I cope. But you can definitely go outside there and research and do a whole other things. But I say, I do not care about what other people say. That's just me. But you can find your own mechanism of coping. It's totally on you. And finally, is what do you do when you learn that you're different? That should have been... Number four, I might have got my numbers mixed up. I'm sorry, guys. But what do you do after learning that you're different, after learning that you don't fit in into groups, you don't fit in with your classmates, you don't fit in with your workmates, you don't fit in with your family, you don't fit in with anyone, anywhere? It's embrace yourself. Embrace yourself. You know, embrace who you are. That's what you do. Is that come into terms with yourself and say, I really, really love who I am as a person. I love how different I am. I don't care that I'm different. I don't care that my legs are knocked together on the knees. That's literally me, though. <laughs> I, I literally used to never wear shorts because a guy told me that I had knocked knees and it was like so devastating for me. I used to feel like terrible. I couldn't wear shorts and i was it was a whole spectrum of something for me it was terrible yeah now that i've learned i'm different the only other thing that i can do from here is to accept who i am that's the only thing i can do is accept that i'm different and i stand out from the crowd everyone is going to be looking because i dress different i smell different i look different i talk different that is your strength is that you're different take these negative things that people are saying and use it as your shield use it as your power use what people think that they are using to bring you down to pick yourself up People really don't think about it like that, but I do. Is knowing that you're different, acknowledging that you're different, what it means to you to be different, how you've already coped with it. The only thing that's left is to accept that I'm different, and that's it. There's nothing someone else can say out there. There's nothing else that someone can do out there that could really really bring you down unless you let it i'm sorry for the british accent yeah (laughs) but it's just there you just have to accept yourself that i'm different it's okay someone literally can come right now and tell me you cannot wear shorts you have knock knees and i'll be like so what does it bother you because it does not bother me and i do not care if it bothers you because I accept that I have knocked knees and I use them. I walk here. I play basketball, y'all. I do not even care. Um, I know I'm different. You don't have to point it out to me. And even if you point it out, I do not care what you're going to say. What do you do after acknowledging that you're different? Is that you accept that you are different. 
I'm sounding like a whole guru right now, bro. I am like, I'm sounding like a whole guru, a whole therapist right now. But really being honest is that you really have to accept who you are. I have accepted that I'm on a whole different spiritual journey and I'm living and breathing more differently than I used to. I feel like in the past I was so focused on toxicness and what I went through as a child, things that people said about me when I was a child, the people, things that happened to me when I was a kid, blah, blah, blah. I used to focus so much on those. Right now, I don't really care. I've learned to forget my childhood. If I'm being honest, I do not remember anything about my childhood at this point because 100% of them were based on me just being the victim. And I don't want to view myself as a victim. I want to view myself as someone who's better than just being victimized. I am better than three-year-old, six-year-old me who used to cry every night before she sleep. I do. I'm not that. I'm this woman who has embraced herself and her sexuality and her friends and the people around her. I've grown to the fact that I will never fit in into society. I've come to accept that and appreciate myself as an individual and really just come into terms that I will always be the different girl who stands out of the crowd. I'm learning to grow myself spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically. I want to be that person who's calm and relaxed in different situations i literally am not scared of things right now i'm i used to be so scared of seeing a group of men i'm like right now i'm like y'all can do shit to me because i'm comfortable in my body they can tell me oh you look ugly oh blah i am not ugly have you ever met ugly there is no one who's ugly not in planet earth at least i've never seen anyone who's ugly I'll just be honest. That's my perspective. But I'm so different from the topic from today. But I just really had to put that that we have to be different. We have to stand out of the crowd. We have to be that, you know, that gold speck in the whole sand. You have to be that gold bar. You have to be that one redhead in a whole family of bald people. You have to have your own mark you have to have your own trademark you have to people have to know that that scent that's rita she's either coming or she's been here you know they could leave a positive energy by accepting who you are that's how things will work out and i feel so spiritual right now i don't know why i just felt like i needed to communicate this to you guys and do this for you guys that You have to be different. You don't have to be different. But you should choose to be different. You should choose to do things that make you happy. You should choose to focus on yourself. Being different and standing out of the crowd, those are your strengths. Those are people those are things that people shouldn't be able to use to bring you down. Because trust you me when you love and accept who you are. Nothing that people say, unless you are a person who likes people's opinions, nothing that people say will really, will really matter to you. So, yeah. <laughs> and Guys, someone told me that I'm so different in reality. <laughs> someone told me that I talk so much on my podcast and on my YouTube channel. I'm so bubbly and so happy and blah, blah, blah. But in real life, I'm like the person who does not talk at all. I just love my energies. I mean, tell you, it's all about your energy. It's all about what you're feeling like. And today, I was, I'm just in my spiritual mood right now. Like, I'm in my whole girl. Look at me. I'm loving my locks. <laughs> I'm not putting. I'm gonna put extensions, maybe, but not lock extensions. Like, just have like them braids or something. I'm not talking about my locks this. But to close off this podcast. I do have a question for you guys. Like, I always have a question in all the other podcasts. If you don't know, definitely go and check them out. There's always a question box that there's, I always leave questions on. So today's question will be, do you love being different? Or do you love standing out of the crowd? Comment down below. 
and tell me your thoughts. And yeah, that's really it for me. Um, if you're watching this from YouTube, definitely don't forget to go and follow me on my Spotify account or on Anchor and listen to all my other different podcasts that I have there. I've talked about accepting your sexuality, I've talked about coming out. There's a lot of things that that are there that I, if you'd like, definitely go and check out. And if you're listening on Spotify or on Anchor, um, I have a whole video of this podcast on YouTube. Definitely go and check that out. I'll link it down below. And same to um, YouTube. Follow me on Instagram at Black Panel. And yeah, if you have anything, any questions, definitely comment down below and I'll definitely make time to check them out. With that, I leave you guys to have a really nice, blessed, spiritual, abundant day today. Goodbye. See you next Wednesday. Deuces.